the overall energy is someone needs to be cut off cut them off someone is being two-faced in a situation so that is definitely a karmic energy be quiet we need to hear a pin drop and i know how to use crazy so someone's being two-faced you need to cut them off or someone needs to be cut off in a situation and somebody may have snapped off on somebody and i almost feel like this kind of relates to a video i just posted um <laughs> about my shady ass landlords and stuff but it's kind of funny but um yeah um someone got quiet all of a sudden um after somebody snapped off on somebody and it got so quiet that you could hear a pin drop or they could be trying to listen in um, on what's going on. <clears throat> I caution um, somebody may have listening devices um, put in their home. Or in my case, maybe, you know, if you have people crawling under your house messing with your shit, you know, be careful about that. Um, so remember, this could be past, present, or future energy. Remember to take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, flip the signs and rolls as needed. Um, this is a collector read, not a personal read, and I mean, I started resonating with it, um, but there are other people this could resonate for as well. Um, I just like to play with my cards, and so we'll see what comes out. <clears throat> so, the chains on my mood swing broke. So someone definitely snapped off and went off on somebody, and someone is acting like you're making a mountain out of a molehill, but they're pushing your buttons intentionally. And they surf the internet daily, like trolling you, posting comments, um, checking up on your social media. It's like the first thing they do when they wake up is check on you. And if this is for you, boo, uh, divine femme, divine masculine, um, these karmics are fans, okay? If they are so obsessed with what you're doing and they don't have a life of their own, they're fans of yours. I mean, what can I say? Um, if you're good, you're good, right? So there's a karmic lover involved in this situation. And balance has to be restored. So for some of you, this is a relationship, um, a past relationship that this is going to affect. Or it could be one um, recently that maybe you snapped off on because someone was pushing your buttons and being two-faced and lying to you. Because this was not the offer that you have been waiting for. So this was a bad offer from the very beginning. And this person is left looking like a fool because they didn't give you the love offer that you deserve. They gave their flowers and cup of love to somebody else. They didn't give it to you. They gave it to someone else and now they're regretting that decision. In fact, they were using you and trying to steal something from you, whether it was time, energy, money. Take it how it applies to your situation. But you are coming up as the queen of cups. So you do stuff um, from a heart space of love. Everything you do is from love and you are emotionally stable and someone's trying to trigger you intentionally to make it look like you are unstable. But if you've done your shadow work, um, you just delete block and move on. It doesn't affect you unless it affects, you know, you personally or something like that. Um, obviously there are boundaries people cross that are going to make you snap off and um, put, a, put a bitch in their place. But um, you're a very balanced person, so if you snap off on someone, they definitely have it coming because someone was trying to steal your job or steal your life's calling from you. Um, if you're a content creator, like social media, whoever this is, someone's checking your social media like every day and they were trying to steal your life's calling so they could be trolling you, putting fake comments, they could be even hacking accounts, trying to block you from... Um, making any money or finances or something but someone try is trying to get you out of your life's calling it's like they're trying to steal your your work or something and this person is getting ready to face um bad fortune or they are in a wheel of bad fortune because this came out in the reverse so they have brought bad luck on themselves for messing with you and interfering with you um so let's get in here and see what deck i want to use mm. I'm going to use my Woodstock cards. Let's see what comes out of it. If anything comes out of my Woodstock cards. <clears throat> so, somebody turned their back on a feminine, or there's a divine feminine who turned their back on somebody else. Sorry for the coughing, I have bronchitis, so 
I just gotta let it ride out. So someone is going to be getting some sort of communication that a group is turning their back on someone. So if someone has had a group gang stalking you or something, they're now worried about what's going to happen to them. Um, you may have threatened them to report them or put their asses under investigation, especially if they've been harassing you. Um, so they could be worried about going to jail or losing their own children. And if they're not, they should be because um, these people are doing really shady shit. And what they're doing is committing um, crimes against you, especially if they're using harassment or stalking or interfering with your daily life. Everyone has the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. It's in the goddamn Constitution. So if people are interfering with your constitutional rights, um, that's a big, big issue. And people can be prosecuted for this. So um, there's a group that's backing out because they're afraid of what's going to happen to them. And someone is trying to drain your resources, and there may be um, someone that you're friends with, or there may be a couple different people that's working together that are trying to drain your resources because they see that you have the ability to make money or finances. And one of these people are really work they're really working hard to keep their identity hidden. Like it's like they don't want you to see that they're behind all of this. But yeah, they're watching from behind the scenes, but you have a feeling, you know, if you're intuitive, if you have um, spiritual gifts or talents, if you think long and hard about it, you'll actually figure out who's that secretly watching because it's obviously someone that's connected to you in some sort of personal way because why else would you be being gang stalked or having other people interfere with your life if... They weren't put up to it by someone that you actually know or that's holding a grudge. So there's actually someone that's trying to keep the fact hidden that they're involved with this and that they have their friends involved with this and they're secretly watching behind the scenes. But if, I'm serious. If you think really hard about it, you'll figure out who it is. It, it won't take you long to figure it out. Yeah, there's something that's going to be brought to light. Um, this, this is like... Um, some sort of information or something being brought to light to possibly even the public. There could be a public announcement coming out soon about something that these people have done to you or to other people, because I feel like this is not the first time that this has happened. They've just gotten away with it for so long. Yeah, this was definitely the person that's the ringleader behind this, behind the gang stalking and behind the harassment, is someone that you are in a relationship with and that you may have ghosted because they were being two-faced. So you may have walked away from this person and then they made it their life's mission to like ultimately destroy you because they were, they just they didn't heal themselves, they didn't do their shadow work, they don't want to grow up and they're very immature. <clears throat> someone may have gotten kicked out of a home or a job or something um this person worked really hard to get you kicked out of something whether it is work or home and so there's a whole family here on the side of the road so you may have lived with this person and they may have kicked you out or you may have kicked them out this was someone that you were possibly in a relationship with, but this person has been cut off and they, they're acting out of ven revenge. Like someone's doing something just purely out of spite because you don't want anything to do with them. They hired people that they do drugs with or sold drugs to. So if this person has addictions, um, they put people up to this that they, I feel like they sell drugs to. So someone could be like a drug dealer or something that your ex could have been involved in um dealing some sort of narcotics or something like that but the people that they put up to doing this to you um aren't involved in drugs in some way and i feel like they're customers of this person Yeah, there's, there's a couple guys trying to blend in with the crowd. These are people that you might not even suspect. So you might not even know that this person is a drug dealer or related or associated with these people because they try to blend in with the community. But these people are very well connected. Um, they hide their connection very well. But if you're intelligent, you can connect the dots. It's not that complicated. 
Alright, so now I'm going to hit my Pink Floyd cards now that we're getting into this. <laughs> yep, someone's messages aren't getting through, so you may have this person blocked where they blocked you. So, um, someone who is hiding their identity... Um, you may have this person blocked and they may be upset even more that they can't contact you and harass you directly. So they're using some sort of messaging to do it. So they're hiding from like fake profiles or something and doing it. Um, and you may have an idea of who this person is or who these people are because um, they're connected to a masculine, uh, to your ex. So there could be a masculine, this masculine figure that I'm picking up on um, in the reverse. Um, was part of sending you messages. They're part of the trolling and the gang stalking. And they're the people, that's the main ringleader of the people that's doing this to you. And it all has to do because they made a bad business deal with another feminine. So there's another feminine energy that they got burned by with another business deal. So they were being two faced. You cut them off because they were cheating on you and being disloyal to you. And um, so you may have blocked them and they're trying to find other ways to get around it, but um, they can't come contact you directly because you, you have them blocked somehow. You're not getting the messages. So you could have even changed your number. So if you got a different phone number or something, there's some way that this person is blocked from contacting you. So they just can't come out and speak to you directly. So they're being passive aggressive about their communication. Yeah, this person is watching you, and all of a sudden they want to come into union with you. Um, this person is definitely wanting to come into some sort of union with you, but they can't approach you directly. So they're being very sneaky about it, um, but they're watching you. Those are the eyes. So they are very clearly watching um, everything you do and waiting for the opportunity to see if they have a way back in to start a new cycle with you. Yeah, this person wants to dive in all of a sudden um, now that they got burnt by their bad business deal because they made the wrong choice. Now all of a sudden they want to come back to you and come into union with you and they could be harassing you in an effort to try to force you back into a relationship with them like scare task, scare tactics kind of shit. Like, this is ridiculous. This is someone who wants to be like a master manipulator or something. Um, this person is a narcissist, a control freak. Um, and it pisses them off that you have blocked them off. Like they don't have access to your energy somehow. Um, you, maybe you cleanse your energy regularly, maybe even multiple times a day to keep your energy clear. You do have a, a union coming together and I feel like it's not with this person. I feel like someone does want to dive in with you and come into union with you, but it's, your match is not this person. They're going to pretend like they're your match, but this person is not for you. Alright, not getting anything else out of that, so... Let's see if we can't get some... Um, I'll use my Red and Stimpy cards. See if anything comes out of Renan Stimpy. Yeah, someone's left looking like a joker, and that's why they want to come back to you and come into union with you. It's like after they exhausted their other option, made the wrong choice, and screwed up. Now they want to come back to you. <coughs> yeah, this is a masculine figure. So this is a masculine energy who comes across as someone who's like an alpha alpha male, but they're left looking like a fool. This is a karmic lover. Very strong karmic energy. Especially if they're putting other people up to harassing you. That's not love. That's just people who need to go heal themselves. Alright, we got 
one more spin and then I'll get into some more tarot cards if nothing else comes out. Maybe we can get some more clarity. Yeah, if someone got left out in the cold, so someone got sent packing, so this karmic um, could have um, got left by the person that they left you for. Someone got left out in the cold. So um, the masculine's left looking like a fool because whoever they left you for left them out in the cold. This almost seems like kind of like a part two for the person that's coming back and saying they've seen the light, but they're really the same karmic bullshit. Yeah, this person is left scratching their ass. This person is confused. Like, why didn't this work? How did I get left by myself? Look. <laughs> How did I get left with no hose? I mean, what the hell? <laughs> now, this person was a gold digger. They were just using people for what they could get. Um, they just tried to milk you for finances, chose somebody else, and then they got their ass ghosted too. So, I mean, make it make sense. But that's how karma works. Yep, they're going to show back up. Hi, how you doing? Long time no see. Remember me? The piece of shit that goes to you for another hoe? <laughs> oh my god. This is so nuts. And it's going to drive them crazy. They're going crazy because you're going to tell this person, uh, nah. Nope. Get going. Get Head on down the road. It's driving this person crazy because you're not giving this person any attention. And they need that attention. They thrive on attention. And you cut them off. You're their energy supply. Um, you're not giving them anything. They're not getting anything from anybody. Everyone's cutting them off. They got burned by a bad business deal. That's not your problem. And this, yeah, this is driving this person crazy because they screwed up. Hey, how you doing? You remember me, the piece of shit that's ruining your life and gang stalking you until you come back to me? <laughs> yeah. This person was stopped dead in their tracks, um, especially when they got ghosted by somebody, the person they chose over you. Um, they were stopped dead in their tracks when the exact same thing happened to them. Like, hey, this is karma coming back to bite you in your ass. This person is left wondering how you're so relaxed, how you're chilling, um, how you're unbothered by the situation. You know, you cared for this person when you were involved with them, but they screwed you over. They wanted to give you um, unrequited love and put you in a shitty situation, and you walked away from them. You're, you don't deal with that. I mean, you were disgusted by whatever you found out. Um, this person is just repulsive to you at this point because of how they treated you. There's no way in hell you're ever going to take this person back. I mean, I, I, I believe it'll be a cold day in hell before that happens. All right, um, let's check these cards and see if anything comes out of here. This, this is nuts. This person screwed the pooch, and literally, they left you screwed the pooch and got screwed by the pooch. I mean, make it make sense. <laughs> yep. <laughs> They got played. Empress in reverse came out. So, yeah, there's an Empress in reverse involved in this. So, there's um, a karmic female energy also. And you're just chilling. Like, Pisces could be significant. You know, you're just taking a moment to pause and reflect and, like, wait a minute. Um, didn't you ghost me for this skank ho? What are you doing showing back up in my energy? Yeah, I feel like you're going to snap. You're going to snap and put this person in their place. And it's going to be so quiet that you're going to be able to hear a pin drop. They're not going to see it coming. They're not going to um, expect you to snap off on them like you're about to if you have not. If this hasn't happened for you yet, this is going to shock the shit out of this person when you snap off on them. Yeah, because they're still karmic. They're still karmic. You're Take a moment and think about it. And you're going to see it. This person is still karmic. They did not change. And that's why they can't come towards you. Because you know they're still karmic. And if they try it, you're going to go off on this person. I see it. You're, that's, that was the very first cards that came out. Someone's about to get snapped off on if they haven't already. Like I said, this has already happened for some. For some, it hasn't happened yet. So, 
Someone's about to be in for a rude awakening. And that's because the Wheel of Fortune is not in their favor. This already came out. This is double confirmation. They're experiencing bad luck. And that's their karma, man. That's what happens to karmics when you do shady shit to people. It comes back on you. I don't know how many times you have to spell it out for them before they get it. Apparently, you need to take a rock and beat them over the head. Don't do that literally and blame me for it because I didn't tell you to do shit. I'm just a card reader, man. You make your own decisions. But, I mean, it's like you got to beat it into their head. Like, hey karmic shit is happening to you because you're a karmic stop doing karmic stuff i mean it's pretty cut and dry but people are hard learners i guess yep they ran out of options and they lost their ability to make money i feel like maybe they've even been blacklisted or uh, blackballed when it comes to business too um because their work has suffered so they're out of options when it comes to money so they need someone to finance them daddy needs a sugar mama or vice versa, take it how it resonates. This is an empress in reverse, so it could very easily be masculine or feminine because we had both energies come out in the reverse, so there's obviously two karmics going, um, getting what they deserve. So if you're a masculine, you could have a feminine energy coming back. Yep, someone was uneducated. They didn't know who they were playing with. Page of Swords in reverse. They really thought you were going to believe their lies and that you were stupid, and that's not the case. Secrets are being revealed. You know what's going on. Um, yeah, the moon energy. Um, you could be coming into union with somebody else, but whatever was being done in the darkness, you may already know about it, and if you don't, you're going to find out. The secrets are being revealed. Someone was just a thief, and there was a whole group of people working to take something that belonged to you. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This is something of big monetary value. They didn't want you to have a new start. They didn't want you to have financial stability, and they had a whole group of hoodlum fools, and I'm seeing a bunch of monkeys just swinging from the trees, just acting stupid as fuck when I see this, okay? Trying to steal what's already yours. I don't think so. And they, they thought they could be creative in doing it, but they didn't know who they were playing with. They didn't know that you were divinely protected. You are the motherfucking star. And all they did was create an imbalance. And now they're going to get kicked out of their house. They're going to lose their job. Everything they wanted to happen to you is going to happen to them. Because they're under spiritual judgment. And I don't know what God they serve, but my God, homie don't play that. Homie don't play that shit. My ancestors don't play that shit. My spirit guys don't play that shit. My brother, Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, don't play that shit. Um, y'all are screwed. My angels don't play that shit. So if y'all are divine, you know, and you're coming up as the star, you have that same protection. There's, man, there's a lot of people that's in big trouble. All right, let's get some message cards. Yeah, someone was having you watch with an eagle eye. These karmics were watching you like a hawk. They were watching your every move, every step. And there was a, there was a whole group of people doing this. And there's some of them that are backing out because now they know they're in trouble. <clears throat> someone thinks that it's all fair and love and war and that's... Okay, but when it comes back to you, don't bitch about it. Don't step on anyone's toes in reverse. Oh, these people step on all kinds of toes. They're going to be left with a bleeding heart because they wanted you to be heartbroken. They wanted to destroy you, your family, your kids. They don't care who they hurt as long as they get something out of it and you don't get your ace of pentacles. That shit's going right back and they're going to be the ones with the bleeding heart. Air sign Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius could be significant. These people wanted you to be left licking their wounds. They were passionate about this. Fan the flames in the reverse. They were passionate about doing this to you. They weren't just going to walk away. They were determined to make this happen. But they didn't know you had to ace up your sleeve. They thought they had something up their sleeve. They thought they, were, they would get away with this. And so they think it's all fun and games. But guess what? That's, not, that's really not what's going to happen. Um, because this, these people, this group pushed too far and they gained the attention of some very higher up people and whatever they thought was all fun and games are actually federal crimes. 
So, you know what happens? Can you say prison, bitch? I can. Capricorn could be significant. That fell out of the bottom. Something significant could be um, a, regarding last November, a past November. That could be someone's birthday. A Sagittarius could be significant. So something could have happened in the past November with a Sagittarius. We have an Aries coming out sideways. So there's an Aries who is playing the field, being a player, and um, someone's coming out of the woods. So you may be in the process of walking away from an Aries who is a player and coming out of the woods and seeing the light. Um, but yeah, this person was dealing with a fine kettle of fish. So um, this Aries was definitely a huge player. And they're still... Um, yeah, they may have gotten ghosted by the whole goddamn kettle. <laughs> yeah. No one wants to play around with them anymore. <laughs> they got left with nothing. Mm, there's something significant that is going to happen with a cancer in the summertime. There's, so there's something significant about a cancer coming up in the summertime. That could be when someone's getting their karma or it goes around, comes around in the reverse. <clears throat> now there's a whole group of people that's about to be in for a rude awakening. Because while they were trying to um, conquer you, you divided and conquer their entire operation. Whatever they got going, it's it's being shut down. Shut down. Once again, a Sagittarius came out that is as slippery as an eel. Absence makes the heart grow fonder in reverse. This person lied, lied, lied. They don't really miss you. They just miss what they got from you. And they did something to you um, in a past springtime. Springtime is in reverse, so someone did something in a past spring to you. Something could be happening um, on a Monday morning. Morning came out, so something could be happening in the future on a Monday morning. Mm, someone's spilling the beans. So someone could be going to um, go to Snitch Fest, and someone could be getting locked up on Tuesday. This is going to be a wake-up call because someone's about to find out you were sincere and that the wool was being pulled over their eyes, especially by an Aries. And this person is younger than you. Or you are younger than them. Um, Aquarius, something significant is going to happen with an Aquarius in the next 24 hours. Mm-hmm. Someone may have thought you were too good to be true in a situation, but they, they're going to find out you were actually telling the truth. There's something significant that's going to be happening in February. Um, somebody could be um, snitching or spilling the beans on an Aquarius or an Aries. So an Aries could be snitching on an Aquarius, and I feel like they could be getting, and that could be in the next 24 hours, and this person could be getting indicted in February. hearing racketeering charges i don't know what the hell that's all about but someone's going to take their shot in the dark with you but they're all talking no action they're doing it because they think something as easy as one two three but they got caught red-handed i'm telling you someone's going to prison not just jail but prison all right let's get some letters before i run out of time i'm saying i'm telling you i'm hearing prison bitch the letter P could be significant. The letter X could be significant. The letter T could be significant. I'm hearing Patsy. Someone wanted you to be a Patsy for something. S came out. And W came out. 
okay? So S-P-X-T-N-W could be significant. I hope this helps. Have a good day.